A relatively new but successful society, DC's Enactus travelled to Toronto last month to compete in the Enactus World Cup. I sat down with the society's chair, Jack Kane, and other members of the society to figure out what Enactus is all about. Enactus is an NGO, it's in 36 countries around the world, and basically we're students and we dedicate our free time to help marginalise groups of society basically through social entrepreneurship. Well, Enactus run um, all over Ireland, all over the world, and in each university um, there's Enactus groups. And basically, once we all work throughout the year, at the end of the year, there's a big national competition. And each college goes and represents their, um, their team, and then there is an ultimate winner, and DC won this year. And that's what gave us the opportunity to go to Toronto for the World Cup. Our team presented really well, and um, it was a tough, tough competition because the, the standard's so high in all the other countries, but uh, Team Ireland were great. Yeah. Yeah, well, we have four projects at the minute, and we decided to choose two of them. We only get 17 minutes to present, so we picked two. One is Head Start that we've had now for four years. That is weekly dance, travel, music and art classes for people with intellectual disabilities and is powered by volunteers. And we still run it every Tuesday here in the Glass 11 campus in Henry Grattan. We just go down for two hours and dance and do outplays and stuff and we have loads of fun. The other one was a brand new project from last year, it was called Prison Break, where we took a rehabilitated ex-prisoner and we set up for him to run fitness classes for students out in, in the park and um, that was just a way to help them reintegrate into society where so many prisoners just end up falling back into the trap and go back into prison. Former prisoner Kieran spoke about how Enactus helped him. So it meant that I was able to have extra, extra few quid for bus fares, um, maybe to go to see my kids, which was great, you know, um, because I only get um, job seekers allowance on the door. I've never felt judged coming here. I never felt judged at DCU College. And um, that's a big hurdle to get over, because um, it uh, gives you a lot of confidence. Then you don't feel that, and you can be your natural self. The the real thing we notice about Natus is that relatively, it's really new in Ireland. This is only the sixth year it's been here. I just think, in comparison, this is like the twenty first year it's been in places like Kazakhstan. So we find that like the competition is really intense between the Irish institutions, and then when we go to World Cup. Like we're the best in Ireland, but some of these projects the other countries have have been going longer than the Nactus has even been going in the country. So the next stage really for Ireland is to be able to put projects in place that can run over five, six years and through multiple teams so that when they get brought to World Cup, they can make a bit more of an impact with the, with the big hitters. Hopefully, Nactus can advance even further next year. This is Andrew Byrne for DCU TV News.